In this video, we're going to have a look at creating a glass to glass corner on our curtain walls. <clears throat> now, here's our existing um, walls, and this one is what we want to try and get. So we actually see the glass panels are butting against each other as you do in real life. So let's take our curtain wall and obviously we need to remove the corner mullions. So we'll do that, say OK and delete the mullions. There we go. Now, when you do that, though, you notice you get these problems here with the gaps in your glazing. Now, dependent on what the offset of your glazing is. That could be a bigger or smaller gap, or they could be overlapping. But the reality is you may not be able to adjust the offset in real life because you might be confined by the manufacturer. So how can you get these to join together in an effective way? Now, you could use the tab key, select each individual one, edit it in place and drag it around. But to be honest, that's going to take you forever if you've got lots of corners. So it's not really a practical solution. So what we're going to do instead is go down to our families in the project browser, find the curtain wall millions, find a corner million, OK, so your L-shaped corner, duplicate it. Now I've created this one called 25 glass. Now I called it 25 because the glazing is 25 millimetres thick on the curtain wall panels that are there already. So I've matched the offset that was already on the glazing of 37. The thickness being the thickness of the glass, 25 millimetres. Now leg one and leg two. So one of the legs needs to be half the thickness of the glass. The other leg then needs to be the distance to make it take it to the next million. So let's just show that. All right. So what we've got is the distance from there to there plus half the thickness of the glass. And that gives you the other leg distance. So once you've created that, you can then click on this wall type and you can now insert your border vertical million as glass. Now, something you want to make sure of at this point here is that your horizontal grid is continuous for your join condition. Um, just to sort of show you, so if we go to the 3D over here, horizontal grid join condition. All right. You can see now we've got the glass abutting against each other as it should. And um, that enables these to come across here. If we change that just to show you what happens if you don't have the horizontal grid continuous, let's go for um, border and vertical. As you can see, we lose the one million because the corner million, which is the glass now, is actually replacing it. So just keep it as um, vertical, oh, sorry, horizontal continuous. There we go. And that'll just give you the correct joining there. So that really is how you do a corner to corner in glass with your curtain walls. I um, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.